Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, is it possible to map Redux state to a regular JavaScript function rather than a React component? They're curious if there's a way to connect Redux state to a function without explicitly passing it as a parameter. This question arises from a desire to optimize API calls in their Redux action generator, avoiding unnecessary requests when the data is already available in the state. Let's explore this intriguing topic together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. To answer your question, it is not possible to directly map Redux state to a regular JavaScript function using the connect function. The connect function is specifically designed for React components. However, there are alternative methods to access Redux state within a regular JavaScript function. One common approach is to use the Redux store directly. You can import the Redux store into your function and use store.getState to retrieve the current state. This allows you to check the state without passing it as a parameter. Regarding your specific use case, you can create a utility function that checks the Redux state before making an API call. This way, you can avoid unnecessary calls if the data already exists. In summary, while you cannot use connect with regular functions, accessing the Redux store directly is a viable solution. This allows you to manage your API calls efficiently. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To access the Redux store in a JavaScript function, you can use an action with a marker. This marker helps the reducer decide whether to skip processing the action. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped get you that answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please just shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.